Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm joined here with my mum. And today we are going to be doing another episode of 20 Nuggets, 20 Questions. I have done how many episodes of this now oh no just one with a guest actually i did one on my own and then one with atticus last time i came home and it is a new little series on my channel where basically i get guests on it's a good and idea. it is my mum. i thought it was a really good idea yeah, it is and actually you know if mm. someone came up with it in the comment section of my video and that's why I'm yeah doing it. yeah and then it just said you should do a series called 20 nuggets 20 yeah. questions so now i go to mcdonald's we get a box of 20 chicken nuggets mum's definitely not going to eat all 20 because we are going for a lunch at pizza hut literally as soon as we have filmed the video <laughs> but i will obviously help i'll eat. have one <laughs> if you have one i'll have a couple and then we'll save the rest of atticus yeah. but i We've got yeah. 20 questions to ask mum that you guys have asked on Instagram and Ooh, we're just going to sit okay. and we're going to have a chat. I haven't actually properly looked through the questions because right, Freya's okay. done them. So okay. going to be a surprise oh, for me okay. too. Yeah. But I think it makes the video better because I also yeah. don't know what's coming. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. Here we go, Nugget. They look crispy today, actually. I'll have some sweet and sour sauce. Was that a request? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not much on these nuggets. I, I don't really get nuggets from McDonald's that often. Guess what, though? Big Tasty's come back on Wednesday. Oh, you love that. Yeah. I did try the chicken Big Mac. Oh, me too. Did you like it? Hmm. I thought it was quite nice. Yeah, the okay. first, first time I tried it, I'm not going to lie, I hated it. Because Did they, they didn't put a lot of Big Mac sauce in, so it just tasted very like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. But the second time Anna, I had look, it. Anna, what <laughs> going. What are you doing? <laughs> he had his feet upon the... Oh, he's still out. He's looking at you. <laughs> he felt such an idiot the, the one in the passenger seat he really did because he was going like that and then he looked around did you see him he was like he stopped he put his arm up so he could he was see like... him <laughs> oh, right first question first of all actually i saw someone ask a question that says why is your mum so fabulous <laughs> was you <laughs> mum was up i literally as soon as i put the question box up i looked and mum had already put why is your mum so fabulous there you go, you can use that as your first question. Why are you so fabulous? Because I just am. <laughs> Fair answer. Yeah. Question number two. Is your mum strict sometimes? Oh wait, that's Hello, the Hold on. That's... <laughs> I just asked myself a question. Anna, is it 20 questions each? Is that 40... No, 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 it's 20 for you. I don't oh. know why that's on there. <laughs> so is my mum strict? Um... <laughs> I just asked myself Weird. a question. Okay, I'll ask you, do you think you're strict then? That's a better way of wording it. Right, okay. Um, yes and no. On the whole, no. But I have my lines so I don't like them to be crossed and I won't tolerate what I won't tolerate. But I would say I'm not strict. I wouldn't say you're strict. No, you'd be probably the best one to answer that, I think. I wouldn't say you're strict. I mean, I've been moved out over a year now. Yeah. So I'm like an adult. I do what yeah. I want now. But when I was at home, I think the only yeah, thing... Yeah, but when you're in the house, like, you have to follow the rules. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. And the only thing that you were quite strict on, mm. or quite funny about when I lived at home, was me having boys around and me having people mm. around. Yeah, I was quite strict on like, that. I was yeah. never, like, allowed to have... Well, you did have... Yeah, but At I wasn't. Times. Yeah, but I wasn't really like. No, but I was very. You were very I wasn't easy going no. about it. No, no. You were very strict. No, on because it. I believed that the boy should put in effort. He shouldn't just be allowed to come around your house, have one, and go. You know, I don't. Okay. I don't agree with them, that type of going on. No, neither do I. No. But, that, but I'm just saying that's what you. I think you, you know, were quite strict on. Yeah. When yeah. I lived at home. When you lived at home. Yeah. Yeah. And I think now with your brother, probably, you know, I'm not strict with him, but there's things I won't have of him. Oh yeah, of course. So, but on the He's whole, a lot no. Younger than me. Though. Yeah. So I'm not strict. No, I wouldn't say I'm strict. No, I think you're very. To go and when I go out yeah. and stuff, you just like you just go to bed and just let me yeah. come in at whatever time. Yeah, like. Because you're gonna do what you're gonna do anyway. True. Are you happy doing YouTube? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Explain a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy. I enjoy the creative process. I enjoy. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. It works around your brother. Mm. You know, that's that's the first thing it provides a living and you know i enjoy it good next one we'll have another baby no, no hang on not in a million jump the gun all right we're <laughs> having another baby no not in a million years i'm 48 this year no your brother's getting older this is my time to be fair though well even when like atticus you were pregnant with atticus i don't think you were gonna have another kid then no fair enough i didn't either but the difference was then... i thought i was gonna be a um, <coughs> yeah only me, child for me too my life. that's what i thought too and i did say never but there is a big difference back then i was 39 yeah now i'm not far off 49 so there's a lot how of old are you now 40? well i'm 47 but you know what i mean so there's a lot of difference there what do you want to do for your 50th party mm -hmm. for three mm -hmm. i haven't thought about it i'll think about it nearer the time okay i was thinking about it the other day oh yeah what for my 50th mm. okay that's a very strange thing for you to think about anna someone asked me how old you are that's why oh right okay i just thought oh because in my head i just think you're always like 44 and i forget that yeah you're i know older. i know i know it takes me by surprise sometimes you don't yeah. look old though no your brother said that to me the other day he said look you're good for your age man <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you don't look old. I don't. I don't think I look nearly fifty. No, I if you say no, that, I don't think you no. definitely look nearly. No, no, definitely not. no. Oh, okay. This is a good one. Okay. 
What's your favourite thing about being in the public eye and the least favourite thing? Um, <laughs> you I wouldn't are. say I'm in the public eye, but... No, but people know who you are. So yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. My favourite thing. Yeah. And your least favourite. Um, my favourite thing would be knowing sometimes that you actually make a real difference to people. I mean, you, you, you know yourself. You, you yeah. get messages saying that like you know you've helped that person or you know watching something has got them through something mm -hmm. or that would be the best thing the most meaningful best thing the worst thing what's your least favorite well you have to take the good with the bad don't you but um i don't like these people that leave mean comments and that i don't think there's any need for that mm, i agree I, there's no need for that you know and i feel quite sorry for them i agree you know but that's the good you take the bad with the good you can't uh, in social media you can't have just the good because that is no, not I just what think it's about. You can't so. please everyone, that's what it is. You can't please everybody and you know, I think ultimately you just have to feel for these people that do it, you know? And it's just one of them things. Oh, I wanna ask that actually. <clears> What's <throat> my favourite and least favourite thing? My favourite thing is I think it's the same as you, like knowing no, that you know. No, you made people. a difference, yeah. Like I'm read I read my Instagram DMs a lot, like yeah, yeah. all the time. And when I get a message from someone that's like, Oh, I've watched your videos for years, they've really, really helped me. Mm. Like you're glowing recently or things like that, it just makes me really like like what I'm doing has a purpose. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Well, she I was. And I don't know if I told you, but I started writing a book because I want to get no. it published. Oh, darling. Oh, yeah, but I started properly writing it last night. And I'm so, like, I'm well oh, excited. I was doing it for, like, four hours last night. What are you writing a book about? Well, I'm not, well, you can read it. What? But it's, well, you can read it. Okay. But it's just about, like, obviously it's not an autobiography. I haven't lived, but, like. No. But but I have lived, but you know what I mean. Up to now, like. Like, a, a bit of a story oh, up to wow. now and, like, how, like, to become an influencer, sort of. And, like. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, sort yeah. of thing. So, yeah, I'm going to. Oh, that's amazing. I'm going to try and get it published. I want to speak to some publishers. So, that's exciting. Exciting. Darling. My least favourite thing though is again probably the hate. Probably I don't know, yeah, that's probably just it. I don't yeah. really have like a least favourite thing about about it. I hate it when people like They need to calm down, don't they? It's like that song, Taylor Swift song. What one? You need to calm down. <laughs> You know the one. You know that you don't know the Taylor Swift song. It's about haters, isn't it? How's it going? You need to calm down. You're being too loud. You know. Th song. Are you kidding me? No. Listen to it. You need to calm down. All right, we'll listen to it on the way to pizza. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next question. Next question. <laughs> What's your dream holiday? Oh, um, there's so many places I'd love to go that I haven't been. But ultimately, I think I just want to get to Ibiza this year in the summer. Oh, yeah, I know That's you my love goal. Ibiza, don't you? I said, like, obviously, I mean, you can come if you want, but you're so busy. I'm but... going to Ibiza this year. Oh, you're, but I'm going, you're to party, going to party. Though. I said, I want to get your brother there this summer. Kind of longer. Possibly, or wherever, I don't know. But mm. I haven't been for years. So. I know, yeah, you love Ibiza. Yeah. Oh, next question. Is there a backstory to Anna's name? Backstory? Um, no, it's just from the Russian princess, Anastasia. And then I was going to be called Aurora. Oh. And that Aurora, was the other name. Yeah, but it so was, it was between um, Anastasia and Aurora. Yeah. I like Anastasia though. I really do like Aurora, but I feel like that's like a younger Aurora. name. Aurora, Aurora is off. lovely. But... Imagine if my name was actually Aurora. Yeah, I know. It was going to yeah. be Aurora, but then I just decided something made me decide on Anastasia. The other night, well, it wasn't the other <coughs> night actually, it was a while ago, me and Freya and Byron were at a house party in Fallowfield mm. and um, we were just, we just sort of play like a game where we changed our names and our occupation for the evening because mm. the party was full of people that we never knew. So, oh, they like, didn't like, know you. Know. But it was really awkward because one girl said she watched my videos and I told her my name was Arabella. <laughs> but, I, but I was like, what oh did yeah. She say? She, well, I said, I introduced myself as Arabella and she was like, what? And I was like, I'm Arabella, I'm a dog sitter. I said, I'm a dog sitter because we just had the dogs that day. So we were like, oh, we'll just say that I'm a dog sitter. And she was like, aren't you Anastasia? And I was like, no. Oh, hold <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to have a nap before I knew she was here. <laughs> You know what I like? I have to have a nap. Because you get up at stupid I was up at four this morning and I, yeah, Silly. I have to have a nap as I can't continue. Well, anyway, yeah, I told, <laughs> I told people that my name was Arabella and I quite liked it. I was walking around going, hi, I'm Arabella. And I was like, oh, yeah. next one. Mm. Oh, this is a good one. What's your favourite wine or alcoholic drink when you do drink? Because well, that's not very often. I haven't drunk for ages. I have non-alcoholic wine in the fridge. So it feels like I'm having wine. I really want to do a video where I take you on a night out, but I just don't know if mm. you'd do it. Would you do it? Probably not. Really? Even mm. if you came up to Manchester for the weekend and we just went out to some bars and then I took you to a club? Probably not, no. Oh, but that would be so fun, No, though. I don't think it would be my vibe, Anna. Oh, but you could do some shots and you could play. No, no, it wouldn't do for me, Anna. Oh. It would finish me off, I think. I don't think it would finish you off. We'd just have a hangover. I'd feel terrible. I have your brother to look after. No, it's not my vibe. Oh. But, yeah. Boring. If you could recreate one video that you've already filmed, what would it be? Recreate it? If you could redo a video that you loved filming or one on my channel, what would it be? I know what one I'd do. What one would you do? Probably, the, help Dis me out probably the Disney video or like a travelling one because I'd love to go... So like travelling again. Um, I'm thinking I enjoy filming. I honestly, I can't think of one. I'm sorry, I can't think of one. Mum, we 
filmed hundreds of videos. Yeah, I know, but I can't think of one that I'd want to redo. Recreate? Oh, I'd love to recreate the What a Rip Off one. What a Rip Off! Right, I'd love to be in that moment again. And hear oh, him do say you that. mean, I think it's been described, the question's been said wrong to me. Do you mean one that I'd like to live through again? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. or recreate? Yeah, like, well, yeah, live through, basically. Same okay, thing. the one I'd like to do yeah. again. Right, okay. I'd love um, to do the What a Rip Off one again because I didn't realise at the time how funny it actually was. Like, when he yeah, said I it, like, I just did, so I really funny. didn't think anything of it. And then when it blew up, I was like, oh my god, it actually is really funny. He's so funny, I know, honestly. You I know don't he see is. Half I, of it, no, I know he has such a personality. It's like, oh, it's silly. I think probably the Disneyland one, but going back when you surprised us when we were at the old house. Oh, yeah, with the, yeah, my bedroom. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Yeah, probably that, that one. That was very fun. Yeah. What's your proudest moment? Um, Proudest moment, me personally, or. Yeah, your proudest moment. Yeah, but me as Julie, or me as a mother, or me, because I have so well, many personas, Anna. Personas. Persona I've got so many personages. I've got me as a mum, me as Julie. Who you know, else? As I'm getting older, <laughs> I just can't pronounce anything. Honestly, Anna. But you know what? You and Nanny are the same. Yes. Nanny does it all the time. And I never used to. I know, yeah, but Nanny does it. She'll say something, and I'm like, do you mean this? She's like, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I've got the same personages. Yeah. What I mean You've is. You've got two. <laughs> Julie and mum. <laughs> I've got so many personages. Anyway, yeah, what was the question? What's your proudest moment? As. As you. As Julie. As you. You are Julie. Yeah, but. You can choose whether you want to do it as a mum or as you. Either way, it's all it's all always you. No, it's not though, it's all compartmentalised. I have, <laughs> I have different compartments, Anna, in my head. Why are you making the question so difficult? Because I'm not, because you're saying what is your proudest moment? Is that my proudest moment as a parent? It doesn't matter. Or as Julie. Just what is what you deem as your proudest moment from each of your personas. I think okay, okay. Well just okay. I think every every day I'm proud. Here you go. I was looking for one particular moment though. But I can't because every Day, I feel proud. I feel proud of myself. I feel proud of my children. I feel proud. <laughs> 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 that looked like someone was holding a gun to your head and forced you to say it. That's reality. Every day I feel proud of myself. Good, I'm glad, and you should. And I feel proud of my children. As you should. I can't say no more than that, Anna. You know. Okay, next one. Would you ever move from the house you're in now? Yes. Oh, that was a quick answer. Where are you moving to then? Well, I'm not planning to move yet, but and then obviously when we get back from Disney, I'm going to swap over bedrooms. But mm -hmm. I just can't gel with it. I can't. Not the house. Feel no, no, not, not the house. I can I I I can gel with your brother get, get in my room. Yeah. But when I feel like I'm going to go into the spare room, I'm not feeling it. I when I come home now, it feels very empty and like cold in my room. I don't know what it is. I remember when we first moved in and we viewed that house. I was so in love with that room and so in love yeah, with everything you, about you, it. You evolve, don't you? Yeah, you? of course, of course you do. But like now, when I go back, I, it doesn't have the same feeling anymore. Yeah, but it, it wouldn't, did. would it? And I, I don't know if like when I look in the room, it's because I've got so much stuff in there. Yeah, you have. It's filled. And what I need to do. It's used as like a big storage cupboard. It's, I use it as storage. So if it was just blank, could I still see myself in there? And I still can't. So I'm really struggling with that at the moment. But um, what I should do when we come back from Disney, your brother's going to have my room. Yeah. Get all of his room done first. You know, I don't just, I don't care if I just, as long as I've yeah. got a clothes rail in yeah. your old room and your bed, it yeah. doesn't matter. And then we'll see what we do then. But to answer the question, yes, I can see myself moving from that house. Yeah. Not because I don't love the house. No, no, of course not. You know, it's how you feel, isn't it, sometimes? Okay, what's one thing that that you would tell your 21 year old self that life is very very long that you have no life idea long. how long life will be julie just you'll be okay everything will be fine just chill it's gonna be long yeah Life is long though, isn't it? I think life is short. Life I think, is I think my life long. goes by like that. Oh, but you think it does. When I think back to moments that have happened in my life, I think, God, that was so long ago and I'm still here. Well, of course, I'm still, well, I should hope you're still here. I don't yeah. need to go anywhere. But it seems like it was another I know. Life. I know what you mean. Some things do feel like very distant. Yeah. But yeah. good. Well, I, I think I'd life's rather, incredibly long. I'd rather life feel long than short. Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm glad the first thing you tell your 21 year old self is that life is going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> Not that, yeah, don't worry, you'll be happy, everything will be fine. No, yeah, I said that. Long ride. I did say that. Um, did you have any worries when you first started YouTube? I didn't really, because I think I started it when I was so young. Yeah, it was different with you. That it was so different, whereas if I started now, then I'd have a completely different yes. outlook on it. Yeah, it's completely but different I've been, it's, kind of, it's kind of really all I've known, so it yes. doesn't really... Whereas also, like, you answer yeah, you first birth. started it as a hobby, didn't you? I started it as a hobby, I never it was started different. it as a job. No, no. And it kind of just evolved into a job, so... Mm, yeah, for me, it, yeah, of course, I had a lot of worries about it. But yeah, I know. I don't, everyone goes on about like my channel being my main thing, but I actually don't regard my channel as my main thing, you really. You regard Instagram as your main thing. Yeah, more brand work. That makes 
the majority of my living is mod land work. So yeah, my honestly, my, my YouTube is my like main source you of know. Like, income. If we're talking income wise, I don't know what I enjoy more Instagram or YouTube. I say I prefer YouTube to Instagram. I don't really go out and take as many Instagram pictures as I used to. Now I kind of just it's all changing, more. isn't it, Anna? I've noticed a lot of people are doing meals. It's all changing. It's all changing. What was the best and worst trait that Anna had when you were living with her? Um best trait she's very kind very you know she's just there she's my daughter i love her worst we wouldn't get on sometimes she'd be very cheeky put it in a nice way cheeky i was really cheeky yeah so that cheeky. would be the worst weird that because one of the questions is who was the cheekiest growing up out of you and your brother yeah that's because he's only seven isn't he so yeah i never got that's... to that teenage stage with Atticus no, yet no i think he's gonna be well cheeky i think he is now like he's proper like jammy do you know what i mean he's He's something else, I know. He is, He's honestly. like a 45 year old in a seven year old's body. I've never seen a child like it. No. He, loves, he loves his dance. I know, yeah. He's definitely going to be a dancer. He's very flamboyant and very. He, like, he really is. He really But is. he's proper jammy. Like he is. Yeah, yeah. Like in that video that we filmed with me and him, when he was like, Mummy's taking me to three, get £300 yeah, yeah. and that's going to be 390 US dollars. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I can imagine him saying it in that way, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually really excited to see him. I can't wait to see him in a minute. Oh, this is a good one. What's one moral that you live by? Oh, that's a good one. There's so many, though. Um, Your number one moral that you live by? Oh, God. It's tricky. I think it will be what will be will be. Is that a moral? No. <laughs> that's a quote. It's a quote. That's not a moral. No, it's not a moral. It's a quote. Yeah. That's what I just said. A moral that I live by. Do your best. Always do my best. Is that a moral? Yeah, I think so. Always try to be my best as a parent, first and foremost. I like it. Yeah. First and foremost. Um, okay, the last one. What is one thing on your bucket list? So if I was going to die, if I knew I was going to die in a year's time, what is something I would like to do? Yeah, I'll answer it as well. For me, I think it would be to have both my parents in the same room and having a chat with them. What to talk about? I life? don't mean to chat like like. Well, yeah, like, just like general chit chat or just like... general like mm, to like yeah make peace. I think that would be mine. Mine's think. a bit more lighthearted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would like. I would also like that. Yeah. I don't think my you and dad will ever be in the same room ever again. I would be. I I would willing to be. Like if I you said yeah. to me tomorrow, Dad's coming over. Can you come? You know, whatever. But of course, love. If that's what you want. Obviously, but that ain't gonna happen, is it? No, that won't be me, love, would it? No, no, of course not. But like mm. for me, I think that's out the window. But like for me, I'd probably do something very light-hearted. Like I really want to do a skydive. Would you do it, Anna? I wanted to do a skydive over Dubai. Wow. Okay. Would you do it with me? I don't think I could do it, love. You would just got what you. What do you mean at your age? You would just skydive way older than you. No, but. You, you got... think you live in your head to say you're dead? <coughs> no, it's because years and years ago, things like heights and that didn't bother me. What, heights bother you now? Yeah. What, you're too scared? Heights really bother me. Okay, yeah, lots of that. different things bother me. Would you watch me? Like, my fear of patterns is getting worse by the day. Oh, yeah, but that is actually a problem. Like, not a problem, but like, that's actually like a... No, but it's getting worse like with a, me. Um... It's like car grills and that. And these things are really bothering me. It's really bothering me. So would you come and watch me do a skydive? Of course I would. Because I really want to do one. I wanted to do one for when I hit a million subscribers. Mm. But then obviously it was COVID happened. Yeah, of course I would love you. Okay. I'd worry about you doing it. But wow. yeah, if you wanted to do it. It's like a bird, isn't it? Just flying. <laughs> it's like a bird. <laughs> I really yeah. want to do a skydive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how yeah, do plenty it of people do it, don't they? It's like climbing mountains and all them different life experiences. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. If you want to do it, nice. you'll do it. I will do it. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, I will see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye. Bye.